when I first took the battlefield. Game developers then gave players the option to back out. I don't play games. I massacre anyone and anything that opposes me. I don't get killed. I allow the enemy to put a bullet into my head so I can hunt them until they're begging me to come back and take their lives. Because sometimes killing is not just enough to feed my tiger blood. I dare you. I dare you to hop the fence into my yard. When I'm done with you, Paul, you can go back to eating your peanut butter and jelly sandwich that mommy made for you and put in your little Spider-Man lunchbox. But until then, stay the fuck out of my way and stick to Call of Duty with all the other little boys and girls. <laughs> What is good, people? It is your boy, Sventy, bringing you the epic return of Battlefield 3's MVP. So I got a little treat for you today, people. Time to get that pussy out of here. We have some Battlefield 3 here. And we're getting MVP, and what you're seeing right there was him. I do allow the enemy to kill me, just to give him a sense of false hope, so I can come back and ruin it. There, nice. Once that pussy went down, within the first two minutes of the game, I knew it was time to take over. See, in my free time, when I'm not dominating the battlefield, I like to cuddle up in front of a nice warm fire. Have a frappuccino from Starbucks, get lost in a good book, and occasionally do some painting. In Battlefield 3, I don't paint targets to help out my team. I designate targets to let them know that I am coming. Oh shit, I don't know what happened there. So, um, you know, once we got this bomb, I use smoke to my advantage a lot. A lot of times when we're going to plant a bomb, after we plant it, just so the enemy does not have a clear shot on this. Shut the fuck up. You know how I PTFO? I find enemies and I destroy them. Like this little band right here that allows one of the enemies to take his dog tags. I could have saved him, but instead, I figured I'd let him degrade himself a little bit and find out what it feels like to be made somebody's bitch. Like I said, I PTFO by killing people. Fuck. Sorry about that. Um, it, it's definitely big to revive your teammates around the bomb. You can see right there, I take that guy out. Fortunately, I had a lot of support from my teammates. A lot of this game, people, is playing the objective, playing around your team. Moving on. Uh, moving up. I love to take walks in the wilderness. Bambi is one of my favorite movies, so I'm very in tune with nature. You can see I take out Sally right here. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. And then his brother Nathan comes. And as I'm trying to kill him, I notice he's trying to do some rock climbing. So I fire some shots over his head and let the enemy take me out. Now you know that guy shouldn't have got me, I made a very, very dumb mistake there. 
what I should have done was move up behind him, but instead I was being way too patient and really not aggressive enough. So you can see right here I spawn back in on the chopper, and I'm trying to get these guys, I'm not really having much luck. That's because he is a pussy. You can see, when I take over this angel of death, all I do is destroy. You know, occasionally, I like to go back to giving the enemy some false hope. So occasionally, I'll let them get a shot or two in. But when you're playing Svenny Delight, it is always gonna end the same way. So I cook Nancy here some chicken pot pie, send it on its way, and descend to Earth from the heavens above. And you know, even if there isn't an enemy aircraft in the air, you can still be very effective for your team, not even just targeting vehicles, but by making passes over the enemy's base, over the bombs, and just dropping as much as you can. You can see I get lucky there and I get an enemy. Now, a big thing, because a lot of people are really coming to their senses and starting to use the Stingers or the Iglas, as they're known as in Battlefield 3, stay low to the ground, and after you pop your flare, give it plenty of time to regenerate itself. You can see I'm coordinating very, very well with a teammate in this chopper. We're doing really well, uh, you know, really working together as a team, painting the targets, letting me fire off my rockets, um, communicating well. Communication is one of the biggest things if you want to be successful in an aircraft. Fuck that. If you want to communicate with me, have mommy come in, tuck you into bed, hold your hand and say a prayer to me. Now when I kill my enemies, I really don't like to use distance. I like to make it as close and as personal as possible. Women don't get me off. The thing that gets me off the most is the terrifying look in my enemies' eyes before I turn them into Swiss cheese, or in this case, bacon. It's going to take more than your little sparklers on your vipers to stop me. And just know, if you don't take the opportunity to back out and rage quit like the rest of those pussies, I will be waiting. <laughs> so as the game's winding down here, I'm still working on keeping their their aircrafts out of the sky and uh, you know just making passes on the bombs to really support my team as much as possible. This was a big team effort. You know, unlike most MVP games, you'll notice in this one, it's it's really easy. I don't want to say easy to get MVP, but you'll see in a lot of the games, you know, those people will get three, four, five bomb plants depending on the map and how many bombs there are to set off. And uh, you know, you get 500 points for each bomb you detonate. So that's a nice little chunk of points right there. In this one, it wasn't wasn't really so much that for me. You know, I was really just trying to keep my my teammates up. And uh, you can see I had a lot of assist bonuses, explosive destroy bonuses, and stuff like that. So you can see right there we get taken out at the end, but not before I take him with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the return of Battlefield 3's MVP, and I will be back in a consistent manner, I can assure you that. But until next time, people, it is your boy Svendi, and I'm out. Beep.